All right, great. Tens and eleven. I've constructed the lid. So I just finished taping all the way around and just put it on to see that it would fit. It took a little bit of maneuvering, but it is on, so make sure it's a little bigger when you measure it. So that's that. And now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to put some paper down onto the top of this because I feel like it's a really um it's got the edges and stuff are going to be kind of rough and we want everything to be uniform and everything to be one color so I have some water here in a container a little container and some glue that I'm going to put right here onto the lid of the container squeeze out quite a bit of glue and you all are going to do the white paper layer of the paper mache everybody is used to this everybody knows how to do this but we'll go over it again so you can tear up some paper tear up more than one at a time you can tear up two or three at a time possibly um, this is just so everything is going to look really uniform and nice Tearing, 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 tearing. And I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to, this is an art brush, and I'm going to dip the brush into the glue and paint the glue onto the cardboard. I flipped my jewelry box upside down. Don't worry about the inside just do the outside okay so I'm gonna glue all around and then I'm gonna dip my white paper into the water and I'm gonna stick it on and I'm gonna do that all over my box my jewelry box and this will also help to um, make your box more sturdy as well so this is just plain water I'm dipping this white paper into okay so I'm gonna finish that up and come back to show you what it looks like 